Hello, and welcome to Small Screen. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The video ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever it is you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay and watch the Matrix Resurrections Theories and Predictions video, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. That's right, the first trailer for The Matrix Resurrections dropped a few days ago, and we're hit with a wave of excitement and nostalgia like a glitch in The Matrix. So strap in and plug in that head jack as we break down The Matrix Resurrections theories and predictions. Theory number one, is Neil Patrick Harris playing Agent Smith? Always a pleasant addition to any cast, Neil Patrick Harris looks to be playing Neo's therapist, but there's just something about the way he speaks. We notice Doogie Howser has a particular way of saying particular. Could Neil Patrick Harris be playing an agent in a different avatar? Or was he created by the machines to keep an eye on Neo, and some of his code is from the agents? You can almost certainly bet he's not there to be a friend to Neo. Also worth noting is the black cat. If it's at the beginning of the scene, did the Matrix just glitch and change something and that's why Neo is triggered, as Doogie puts it? Theory number two. What's up with Neo? We've seen from the set photos and videos that Neo would be sporting a different look in the Matrix Resurrections. Hey, it's John Wick! More on that later. But did you catch the blink and you missed it shot of post-revolution's Neo being operated on by the machines? It seems that the machines are trying to repair Neo's eyes and perhaps rebuild Neo after what happened in the Matrix Revolutions. But what if that's not Neo? Or if there's more than one? Theory number three. Is this the original Neo we're seeing in the Matrix Resurrections? We know from previous Matrix films that there have been multiple simulations and that Neo wasn't the first Neo. In the last film, The Matrix Revolutions, Neo has his eyes burnt out, but now in the trailer, he's healed up and is sporting quite a different Keanu look. Is this because the machines repaired him as previously mentioned, or is this a new construct of Neo? Remember, the Neo we saw in the previous films wasn't aware of how many simulations he's been in or how many times he's met Trinity, even though they have a connection that goes beyond simulation. We see in the Matrix Resurrections trailer that Neo and Trinity meet again, uh, for the the first time, and instantly that connection is sparked, and they're already feeling familiar to one another. There's also the shot of Neo looking in a mirror and his reflection is of an older man. Did they put Neo in a new avatar and then tried to suppress his memories with blue pill medication? Or are the blue pills to suppress a new Neo from realizing he's in the Matrix? Is this the old Neo or the new version of Neo? Which is it? We need to know! Which brings us to our next theory. Theory number four. Has the simulation started over? As we previously mentioned, Neo found out in The Matrix Reloaded that there were many more simulations before him. Remember that long monologue by the architect in The Matrix Reloaded? What if the simulation has been reset? What if the truce between humankind and the machines is over? Are we witnessing a new Neo through a new simulation? or a mind-wiped OG Neo going through the simulation that's been reset. Regardless of the specifics, it does look like a different Matrix simulation. And if this is the case, where's Morpheus? Theory number five. Will the real Morpheus please stand up? When asked if he was in the Matrix Resurrections, he stated, I am not in the next Matrix movie. And you'd have to ask Lana Wachowski why, because I don't have an answer for that. Instead, we have Yahya Abdul-Mateen playing what looks like a different version of Morpheus. So where's the original Morpheus? Will Lawrence Fishburne make a surprise return in The Matrix Resurrections? Well, to theorize on that, we need to delve into a deep cut. We're going way back to 2005's The Matrix Online game. This massively multiplayer online game set in the world of The Matrix was written by the creators. Up until a point, that is. The Wachowskis have always stated that any media extension of The Matrix was an extension of canon, and this is evident in the console game Enter The Matrix and the anime film The Animatrix. So it would make sense for The Matrix Online to be considered canon. The game takes place after The Matrix Revolutions and sees Morpheus seeking out the Oracle, trying to find an answer as to why the machines haven't returned Neo's body to Zion yet. Why won't they give up his remains? Sounds like you found your purpose. 
When the player starts the game, they have the option to join a faction, and one of these factions was Morpheus. Their mission was to reconstruct Neo's code and bring back his avatar, or digital presence, into the Matrix, essentially resurrecting him. And spoilers, this is how Morpheus dies. Frustrated from getting no answers from the machines, Morpheus resorts to detonating code bombs in the Matrix to get their attention. A new character created by the machines, the Assassin, is sent to hunt Morpheus down. Well, Morpheus was in the midst of detonating a code bomb and then, well, this happened. That's kind of an anticlimactic and lame end for Morpheus and raises all kinds of questions, but we won't get into the specifics of his death here. Players at the time theorized that Morpheus faked his death. However, the game was shut down in 2009 and that storyline was never resolved. So is Morpheus dead for reals in The Matrix Resurrections? Did Lana Wachowski take story elements from The Matrix Online for the new film? And is Yahya Abdul-Mateen's character a new or younger version of Morpheus? We don't think they wrote Lawrence Fishburne out of the film like they did with Tank after he demanded more money. Google it. But this could be a reason why Lawrence Fishburne has a return to play Morpheus. If this is canon, OG Morpheus unceremoniously died planting code bombs in The Matrix Online. With that said, our money is on The Matrix Online story elements being in The Matrix Resurrections. It would be nice to see Lawrence Fishburne make a surprise entrance in the film though. Theory number 6. Is John Wick a simulation in The Matrix? Guns. Lots of guns. Guns. Lots of guns. Okay. Here's one just for fun. This story has floated around the internet for a while now, and even some who thought they came up with it have found Reddit posts about this after looking it up. Keanu Reeves' look in The Matrix Resurrections looks strikingly like another fan favorite role he plays, John Wick. So could the John Wick series be a simulation inside The Matrix? Is it like a training ground for a battle? This most likely wouldn't happen, but it would be freaking cool if The Matrix Resurrections Neo had to do some training and they booted up a program called John Wick. Three minutes later, Neo comes out and says, I know Gun Fu. It would be a nice nod to the franchise and the creators of John Wick, who were the stunt team for the original Matrix trilogy. Who wouldn't want to see John Wick bust some agents' heads? We don't have to wait long to find out what happens, as The Matrix Resurrections comes out this December. Viewer, sooner or later you're going to realize, just as I did, that there's a big difference between watching the channel and subscribing to the channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We'd love to hear your comments, so make sure you let us know what you think of our Matrix Resurrections theories and predictions. Plus, you'll be automatically entered to win a print or canvas print from Snapping Turtle Gallery. This is Clint Baker on voice and that James guy on edits. Thanks for watching Small Screen, and we'll see you next time.